Hey there, today we're going to be talking about this pen. The pen is a, a diplomat and it was sent to me by Timor. Timor, thank you very much. Uh, it comes in this nice little tin and uh, it says diplomat since 1922 and it has a little sort of flower like logo that diplomat has on there. Uh, you open up the box, out comes a little booklet, uh, a uh, international diplomat guarantee. Uh, I don't think it has filling instructions, this is really just to, uh, to guarantee the pen. And then you have the pen, and this is Diplomat makes a bunch of pens. I have reviewed uh, the Excellence A, I believe, at some point in the past, and this is the Traveler. The Traveler is a very slim pen. I'll cover the parts of the pen, I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing summary. So at the very top of the pen, um, I like that you get that logo again, but it's in a, in a sort of clear plastic bubble. Uh, which I, I think looks looks quite cool. Now you have the clip. The clip has this nice shape, uh, and it's it's a good clip. It has an opening that I think most, if not all, of the diplomat pens have. It's a good clip, nice and springy without being excessively uh, tight. Um, you have the barrel, slightly tapered. Uh, it's as you can see, it's all brushed chrome, but there are other finishes if you don't like this color. Pop off the cap. It does post. Uh, securely, and then you have the nib. The nib says "Diplomat since eight yeah, since 1822." Is that what I said? 1922. It's a little hard to read. It's very small print, and it says "F for fine," um, and it has that diplomat flower-like thing on there again. Section is uh, plastic, black plastic, shiny, uh, but I don't find it slippery to be honest. Uh, and I like the uh, the feed feed design is is quite nice on this pen. Um, the pen came, I believe, with a cartridge, but I just put a, a standard Schmidt converter in there. Uh, works very well, uh, holds a decent amount of ink, and just, just you know, it's a converter. Uh, standard international cartridges, so that's very easy to, to put things into cartridges or converters. The, pen, the cap clicks on, and uh, that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, what do I like about the pen? What do I don't like about the pen? Uh, I like the looks. I like this uh, sort of brushed steel, the, the chrome, I, I like that look. It's it's fairly matte, it's not highly reflective except for the clip. That's a nice detail that, that reflects a bit more. Um, I like the way it writes. It has that going for it. And one thing that is really cool, I wouldn't go so far as to say that this is a semi-flex nib, but it does actually offer quite a bit of line variation. The feed keeps up with varying success. It's not meant to be a flex pen, but for a steel nib, especially in this price segment, I think you're talking about 40 euros uh, on the street. Um, it's it's amazing how much line variation you can squeeze out of this. Uh, so I think that's very very cool. Um, things I don't like about it, well, it is a slimline pen, and if you're like me uh, and you have fairly large hands and it, it looks a little bit weird, uh, although you can post it. When you post it, it's a little top heavy. The cap doesn't post. Whoops! The cap doesn't post super deeply, um, but I have seen worse pens. And because it is such a slimline pen, you don't really notice the weight anyway. Uh, so I think that's quite cool. Uh, other things I don't like about it. Well, to be honest, this is pretty much it. I think it's a decent design. Section feels well. Nib is well designed. It writes nicely. For this price, I think this is a very, very good pen you can get. So. I hope that was useful. Let's do a writing sample next, and uh, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with this <coughs> diplomat. As of yet, uh, an unidentified pen model. Uh, the nib seems to be a fine, and the ink, for the love of me, I can't remember. It could be Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. I, I honestly don't remember. Um, sometimes I get in so many pens, I ink them up, and I forget. I'm sorry. Let's focus on the writing quality. As you see, it's definitely a fine line. It's smooth. Not the smoothest I've ever used, but it's definitely not terrible. I like the way it feels. It gives a bit of feedback, but not in a bad way. You just feel that you're writing. Fast writing.
And what you see is that the, the feed keeps up very well with the ink flow. There's no issue whatsoever. It flows very well. So I like that. As to wetness, no complaints there. It may be a fine nib, but it lays down a lot of ink. What's also really cool is the line variation offered by the pen. Because for a steel nib that's not advertised as having flex, it's very, very springy. So I'm, I'm very impressed by that, I must say. Um, and then finally a bit of reverse writing. It's, as I said, it's a wet pen, definitely possible. It's definitely scratchy, but it will work. So, Timo, thank you very much for sending me this pen. It's a nice one. I enjoy using it. Um, I'm going to have fun with that. And uh, i see you all later. Bye-bye.